Jerry, I, I don't think a lot of people give you credit for your football background as far as why you're so good as a GM as far as scouting talent. Do you believe that is a big reason why the Cowboys are always successful, or always competitive, and it's a big reason why you're here today? Well, I think that uh, uh, I would uh, ask, uh, uh, I would first of all say um, I was blessed with decent uh, instinct, decent uh, uh, retention, okay? And when you've been a general manager for 29 years, something ought to have soaked in somewhere. And you ought to have been able to see some good somewhere and go to that more often than you go to bad. So I'd like to think I'm, I'm eons better than uh, in 1989 and 90 and 91 general matches. Just going to start about what today's been like with the photo and then the raid niche and lunch. Just kind of take us through your day. So well, uh, so the one of the, uh, I think, the highlight for me, we just come from a Ray Nitsky lunch, and uh, uh, you had the opportunity to hear these other former players, coaches, contributors, but uh, uh, and also talk about a lot of the players that uh, have been in that room and are not here anymore. But uh, in particular, uh, I had uh, Charles Haley. Emmett and Michael Irvin get up and talk about uh, some of our experiences together and, and uh, frankly kind of welcome me to the uh, Hall of Fame and uh, it uh, uh, that will go right there as one of my great memories. I've, I've actually said this, uh, it, it just feels almost unfair to uh, have spent almost 30 years in the NFL and have had as much fun and have as much fun with a lot of you guys but had as much fun as I've had with uh, players and many great experiences and still get to be a part of something like this so uh, uh, it was a great experience and that luncheon and then uh, last night it was real neat to uh, uh, be at the game and then be able to walk through uh, Cardinals, but uh, Cowboys as well, and get to grab that Quitten and grab guys like Dez, and that was a special icing on the cake for me to get to come up here and be involved in Canton like this, and be involved in the Hall of Fame, and yet have our Cowboys there as well. So um, this is uh, this is uh, so. Uh, 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 so substantive to me. Um, I've experienced uh, wonderful things, and uh, this is right there with Barry. You walked out there and you saw uh, uh, Lamar Hunt, I saw uh, uh, really, I saw Bud Adams, I saw uh, just go down the list of some of the names. Well, ironically, I went up to uh, uh, Lamar and I went up to uh, uh, Joe Robbie, and uh, it had been uh, uh, almost uh, uh, 22 years earlier when I had visited with them about coming into the AFL. And I used to go down in Houston when the AFL would have those meetings, and I'd just go down there and hang out in the lobby with the hopes of maybe getting to brush up and say something to Lamar and those guys coming out of those AFL meetings. And uh, that's when uh, I really hadn't had any business setbacks. Uh, I thought I could do anything, and I sure thought I was wanting to get involved in the NFL. I didn't, or the AFL at the time. But to think that when I first got in the NFL, those, some of those guys were there. I think Lamar remembered me visiting with him a little bit. But I would have never thought that those types of guys that uh, uh, I could have been sitting here right now and being a part of the same uh, same uh, legacy, and it's uh, very humbling, very humbling.